Hola, dear amigas. You're listening to the English Made Simple Show. This is episode number 253, number 253, número 253. Welcome, amigos y amigas. Welcome back, everybody. It's Milena from EnglishMadeSimple.net, EnglishMadeSimple.net. Hope everybody's doing well. I know uh, it's still crazy out there, still crazy out there with this news about coronavirus. People are still getting infected with the virus. It seems we are all slowly adjusting and adapting to this new way of life. When I say new way of life, I mean the restrictions that we have now in place at the moment to stop to stop the spread of the virus, right? I know it's only temporary, okay? And don't forget that it's only temporary. So having said this, I'd like to give you an update on something, okay? Something that I've been working on behind the scenes uh, at EMS here. It's about the free gift you can download from my website, from the English Made Simple website called How to Simplify a Conversation. When you download this ebook, uh, it's a free gift. It's a, it's kind of like an ebook, and there is also an audio component to it as well. You'll also get to participate in a three-day email course. It's a short uh, mini email course, if you will. I've decided to change this three-day mini email course recently because previously the course was about meeting native speakers or meeting people and speaking in English face to face and practicing your English face to face and what type of phrases to use when you meet new people, right? Well, because of this fiasco now with coronavirus, <laughs> um, I have had to make some minor adjustments um, to the course. I'll explain more about what I've changed, how I've updated the course later on. As you know, it's not a good idea to meet people face to face, right? As I said, this new life that we currently have uh, is only temporary. New, these restrictions that we're experiencing are only temporary. Just to let you know, I'm recording this episode in May 2020. The year is 2020. So yeah, we're still affected by the coronavirus. I'll try not to talk about the coronavirus again. It's becoming um, kind of boring, actually. It's a boring topic now. It's on the news every day. And I'm slowly getting sick of uh, hearing about it, to tell you the truth. So, why don't we go back to our usual repertoire? Before I share the new email course and the content um, with the email course that comes with the email course with your amigos, I'd like to say a few hellos. I'd like to send a few greetings to a few special listeners. Uh, so, it's been about a few weeks now. I've been receiving messages from... Uh, raving fans, people who love the English Made Simple podcast. So I'd like to send a special hello now to three special people. First and foremost, I'd like to say a special hello to Dana from Bogota in Colombia. Dana has recently purchased the EMS transcript to help her follow the podcast and ultimately help her improve her English listening skills. Dana is in marketing. She works in marketing and attends conferences in English as part of her job. So she's been using an online translator for some time. Uh, she's been using an online translator when she was attending these conferences that are mostly in English. But as you know, the online translator has literal translations that sometimes don't make sense, right? So she's decided to do something about this and Dana has started to listen to the EMS podcast and she can now follow it with transcripts. I'd like to say a huge thanks to Dana for supporting the show. For anyone out there listening now who needs to improve their listening skills, you can visit englishmadesimple.net slash transcript to get a hold of over 50 plus episodes that are transcribed. So you can follow the podcast and read episodes, uh, read the transcript at the same time. I think it's a great idea to improve your English listening skills, amigos. Great. Now, I'd like to say another hello to Emmanuel Munoz Aviles from Chile, who is a new listener of the show. Hola, Emmanuel. Emmanuel has started to binge listen to the EMS show. 
uh, binge listening means uh, well he started to listen to the earlier episodes and started to listen to episode after episode right that's called binge listening so he's been listening to the earlier episodes the ones i did four years ago oh my goodness time flies Emmanuel has been studying English in Chile and is about to complete uh, the course. I believe it's one of those exams, IELTS or TOEFL, I'm not sure. He had a good question for me. He messaged me on Instagram and had a really good question. Uh, he asked me what uh, cool bananas means because I keep saying that in some of my earlier stuff. I was saying a lot of, I was using this phrase a lot, cool bananas. I'm sure the majority of listeners are also asking the same question. So here's my answer. Cool bananas is just a phrase we use here in Australia to mean everything is fine. Everything's cool. It's all cool. Everything's awesome. Okay. <laughs> it's just cool bananas. So thanks for listening, Emmanuel, and keep listening to the podcast Amigo. So guys, I've been receiving messages from other listeners, but uh, because of this coronavirus thing, I haven't planned to include the greetings inside uh, the last few episodes. It's just a decision I made to focus on coronavirus content in the in the last few episodes. And then in today's episode, I'll be focusing on a more English language related content. So I've decided to include a few greetings as well in today's episode so having said these amigos i'd like to say another hello to dmitri from moscow or should i say privet and zdrastvite kak ti dmitri <laughs> that's about all the russian i know uh, i'm finally sending a hello to dmitri who took his time to email me and say how much he's been enjoying listening to the show he finds the podcast easy to listen and my pronunciation clear to follow. Спасибо, Dimitri. Спасибо is thanks in Russian. Alrighty, guys. That's really awesome to hear from you all. It, um, it certainly makes my day when I receive nice messages like this. Most of the time when I record my episodes, I talk to a wall in front of me. Sometimes I look at my husband, but it's the same. It's like talking to the wall. <laughs> he never listens. All right. Thanks again, amigos, for your kind words. It's good to know that people are listening. Now let's get back to the show. It's about uh, the ebook. So the, today's episode is about the ebook, the audio book that you can download for free on my website. Go to englishmadesimple.net slash convo to get a copy for yourself. Once you download it, you'll participate in a three-day mini email course. The email course is about starting conversations. On day one of the course, you'll receive a worksheet to help you start conversations with other like-minded people. You'll learn to talk about yourself, be able to describe what you do and talk about your hobbies. You'll receive a very simple worksheet that you can use uh, and practice. On day two of the email course, you'll receive a worksheet, another worksheet to help you ask interesting questions. You'll receive a worksheet that helps you brainstorm your interest topics and what types of questions you could form or uh, start asking around those interest topics. The interest, an, an example of an interest topic could be Netflix. Netflix is something people enjoy and then you could say, okay, what's your favorite show on Netflix? Right. On day three of the course, you'll receive another worksheet to help you end conversations politely. Isn't it always a bit awkward when you're about to end conversation with somebody? <laughs> uh, so this is going to help you be ready with the phrases that you need to know so you can, so you know exactly what to say when you're about to end a conversation with someone. Okay, so that's day three. That's the last day for the course. You'll participate in the course once you download the free ebook called How to Simplify a Conversation. Go to englishmadesimple.net slash convo, C-O-N-V-O. Convo is short for conversation. So there we have it, boys and girls. There we have it. I've done my bit. I've updated the course to help you learn new English phrases. Again, take good care of yourselves. Uh, thanks again for your kind words, amigos. 
And thank you for joining me in today's episode. Don't miss out on the next episode of the EMS show. If you'd like to keep up to date on the next episode of English Made Simple, visit EnglishMadeSimple.net. When you visit EnglishMadeSimple.net, you'll see my smiley face pop up from the side. Enter your details to keep notified of future episodes. Thanks again for listening. You've been jamming with Milena from English Made Simple. Until next time, hasta la próxima. Thank mm-hmm. you.